A Channel 2 Action News investigation, government watchdogs are filing ethics complaints against Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed for his use of blue lights and sirens. Some say it's illegal, and they're demanding a ruling from Georgia's Attorney General. They also want the Cobb solicitor to investigate. Channel 2's Lori Geary has been on this story for weeks after getting the initial tip from law enforcement officers concerned about public safety. Well, Justin, the Cobb solicitor tells me his investigators are gathering documents and videos from a crash scene involving the mayor's security detail. He'll then determine what course of action, if any, should be taken. But ethics watchdogs say this is a public safety issue and the mayor's actions need to stop. And he's thumbing his nose at the public. William Perry is the founder of the group Georgia Ethics Watchdogs and has filed several complaints against Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed after a Channel 2 Action News investigation. We found Mayor Reed and his security detail travel to non-emergency events using blue lights and sirens, which some say violates state law. This is Cobb County Police video moments after a crash involving the mayor's security detail, the driver telling investigators he had blue lights and sirens on. So Kasim Reed was in the vehicle. Officers say Mayor Reed, who was a passenger, left the scene before they arrived. He told me that they were, they were running late to a meeting. The accident sent the Cobb County driver to the hospital with minor injuries. Perry says the mayor's actions could send a message to other elected yeah. officials. If Kasim Reed can do it, why can't I? Kasim Reed and his detail team endangered the public, and there was a collision as a result. We sent a man to the hospital. What more needs to happen to say stop this? Obviously, prosecution. Perry says he's asked the Atlanta and Cobb solicitors to investigate and wants Georgia's new attorney general to weigh in, former Economic Development Commissioner Chris Carr. So far, the attorney general's office told me no comment. If the new attorney general doesn't come out and give guidance on this, then I think it's the good old boy network in full effect. Um, I know he has a close relationship with the mayor by traveling the world with Mayor Reed. They've been uh, assigned to protect our mayor for more than seven years, right at seven years, and one minor accident doing this work, is, I think it's a exemplary. Atlanta Police Chief George Turner says he has given the officers assigned to protect the mayor and his family the authority to use their discretion when turning on blue lights and sirens. My job as the police chief is to protect our mayor and his family, and that's what we're going to do. This is a fine example of the Kasim Reed House of Cards, where everybody who is under his authority lines up with him. Even the chief admits that this has been extended to the to mayor's wife and daughter. Some have said mother as well. Where does it stop? The mayor's office released a statement to us late this afternoon saying their law department stands behind its legal opinion on the mayor's use of blue lights and sirens. We've repeatedly asked for somebody from the city law department to go on camera with us, but they've declined. The mayor's spokeswoman also called our stories reckless and irresponsible, but we stand by our reporting. Reporting live from Midtown Atlanta, Lori Geary, Channel 2 Action News.